Okay, we are online. Uh, fingers crossed, everything works out today. So, uh, welcome. <sighs> it's working. <laughs> Good. I, I just check every time whether you know this thing works or not. Whether my head will move if I move my head. Um, yeah. So, welcome. Uh, as you can read from the title, I assume. Uh, today we're shiny hunting again. So that's gonna be fun. Uh, I'll get right into it and then start talking again because, you know. I talk a lot. Why not? I'll talk a lot if I don't destroy my mic. This is like the second time today or in the past 10 minutes I've dropped it, so yeah, let's try not to do that. Uh, ooh, nasty mess out there. Yes. Cool, I have sound so I can hear shinies if they're there. Uh, but I forget how this game works. I played it last week and I forget how it works. Wait, are you something? No, okay. That's a satchel. This is really far away, but uh, I can go there. Um, yeah. So, welcome. We're shiny hunting again. Uh, happy, happy. I'm very happy from that because this is shockingly fun. I didn't think shiny hunting would be this fun. Um, so if you've been a lot, if you were here last time or you know the two last times I was streaming you might know I was having some problems with lag so I googled it and hopefully I figured out the issue uh ha ah, I was right I was forgetting something I was watching a video on like uh I don't even remember what it was about but it just talked about the movement in Legends Arceus moment of silence moment of silence Moment of silence. Okay, no shinies. Uh, no. So I talked about the movement in Legends Arceus and they had the clip of the Braviary going really fast and I was like, I knew I was forgetting something. So, uh, yeah, n I, le I learned to click B when Braviary flies. It makes it faster. <laughs> Shockingly enough. Uh, yeah, so anyway, I googled the issues with lag. I have a theory. It was because um, now how I have the... Which button? It was Ursula. So wrong button. Uh, my personal theory is that... Uh, oh, this caused damage, huh? Whoopsie! And also wrong side. I wanted Braviary. <laughs> uh, God, I have no clue what in the world I'm doing. This is so much fun. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I googled it and I have a theory that the reason is because, like, everything was going well. Even, uh, Legends Arceus was going well, despite how much, uh, FPS, frames per second, whatever, needs to be recorded. But, uh, I think the problem is that I put in the moment of silence. Okay, nothing. Uh, is that I put in the, uh, viewer avatar. Or that I started having git move, right? Which is just another software that's running in the background and more stuff that uh, n pretty much like the problem was that my computer doesn't have enough processing power. Obviously, it's not a gaming computer, it's not meant for this. Uh, oh god, Ursaluna again. <laughs> Nothing against you, but. Okay, no chance. Uh, Oopsie. Uh, yeah, so obviously that, w so that was like the problem with it pretty much and okay, I'll need to jump on back here again here. Um, and so if more software is running on the background, it just means my computer just doesn't have the processing power it needs to deal with videos and video recording, right? Recording and streaming possibly at the same time might not be helping either. Uh, I'm gonna silence. Okay, nothing. Mm, let's go here since we're close. Yeah, so uh, I tr I tried what they recommended there, which was making the... I have no clue what it was like. Resolution, I think lower. Uh, we'll see if it works. I honestly don't even know if that was it. Because again, this is not something I'm good at. Either streaming or just computer stuff. So... <laughs> It's gonna be fun to see if it works out. I just put all my issues into Google and hope it works. Um, no. 
yeah if it doesn't if i get lag again then option number two is just to turn off the software which makes the viewer move like this because like it's cool but i don't need it i dealt with a still image before so i can just have it again and moment of silence that was not the shiny noise good uh no, so I can just have that again. So if I have lag, that's what we'll do. Because honestly, no other thoughts. <laughs> other than what I googled, obviously. Uh, also, I wanted to mention this. Moment of silence. Okay, nothing. I wanted to mention this. Um, I... You might know that I do this. And I also have a Nuzlocke currently ongoing. Which direction am I going this way? Uh, I have a Nuzlocke currently ongoing in Brilliant Diamond, and I don't know if it's because I don't like Nuzlocke or because I don't like Brilliant Diamond. It could be either, it could be both. But I'm not really enjoying it. Uh, I don't want to just abandon it, so I'll finish it or get all my Pokemon killed. It's 50 50. Uh, I think the Zubats, yeah. So we'll get somewhere with the Nuzlocke. I don't know where, but we'll get somewhere. Um, yeah, but so just that. Uh, I won't be doing it this week because I don't have much time. So I would. I didn't have much time, and I also don't enjoy grinding. So I kind of forgot to grind um, over weekend. So another reason not to do it. <laughs> um. Anyway. A. A little longer. Okay. I have the monitor is pretty far away, so I can barely see the text it's displaying. So. That's not very ideal. Um, nothing? Um, there's that. Yeah, so there's that. So um, I'll finish it because I don't want to leave it unfinished. But after that, I don't think I'll do Nuzlocke's or at least not off um, Brilliant Diamond. Okay, there's no shinies here. These spooky monsters have pretty good shinies. Uh, I'll just put my monitor closer and see if, you know, there's anything that I'm missing. No, but it looks like I got all the outbreaks, so let's go back to Jibby Life. Uh, yeah. Uh, so there's that. But yeah, I don't, I don't know if I'll do other Nuzlocke's. Like, not... Most likely not soon, because as I said, I'm not enjoying the one currently ongoing. But... Uh, I haven't played Pokemon games. Like, I have played four. I have played Sword, I have played Brilliant Diamond, I have played Legends Arceus, and I have played Violet. Uh, Sky and Violet, whatever. With that one. So, um, I haven't played pretty much Gen 1 through Gen 7. Yeah, 7. Uh, so I was. I thought that it might be cool to try a blind playthrough of, like, all the games. Like, obviously, not all the games, for instance. Uh, Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon are like pretty much very are like very similar as far as I understand it so much that people felt that there was no need for like the way it ended up being Moment of Silence so I will for instance try like uh, Ultra Sun or Ultra Moon depending maybe I'll put maybe I'll just put that to vote on Twitter <laughs> Because I genuinely have no clue what in the world is going on <laughs> with those games because I haven't played them. But yeah, I'd like to try like some games from everything. Like instead of Diamond and Pearl, maybe Platinum. Uh, I found the heart, okay. Um, and s like uh, maybe not Gen 1, I'm not entirely certain. But like at the very least... Uh, you know, Gen 3 remakes, the uh, Firelight Red Leaf Green and stuff like that. And you know, it's like uh, a legit a blind playthrough. I haven't tried, I haven't played those games ever before, so I don't know. I thought it would be fun. <laughs> we'll see how many people watch, but it will be fun at least for me. So, uh, I cannot promise when it will happen because I need to, in fact, get my hand on those hands on those games. But it will happen. Uh, at some point in hopefully near future so if you see that or if you see something on my twitter let me know uh answer my questions please uh over there okay i just didn't see the flag for some reason uh i 
had something I wanted to talk about, but I totally forgot what. Uh, we watched She Hulk with my sister, and I absolutely did not care. I think I slept through half of it. I, I guess it was a thing. Don't know. Uh. Okay, there should be a horde here somewhere. Not a horde, massive mass outbreak. Or just mass mass outbreak. I'm totally at the wrong place. What? How? What? Over there. Well, that explains why I haven't seen anything. Okay, on to the next one. Uh, which is relatively close, I feel like. Uh, uh, which direction? <laughs> God, I don't see the flag! Ah, over there, over there. It's down. It was hidden within the runes. <laughs> runes, rings? I cannot pronounce it, apparently. Uh, okay, further, further down. So, oh, <laughs> rapid ascent. Okay, nothing. Uh, yeah. So as I said, she was like, man, uh, we'll be watching Wakanda forever this weekend. So that should be fun. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Uh, apparently, my sister heard really good reviews on it, and I know who dies. So. You know, we're, we're a great team on watching movies that we've never seen before. Like, but that's actually better than Quantumania because uh, I... Moment of silence. Because I didn't care about Black Panther, so I knew absolutely nothing, but I was really wanted to watch Quantumania, so uh, given that it came out less than a month ago, I know absolutely everything about it. <laughs> uh, okay, I don't remember most of the stuff, but like, I have heard multiple plot summaries from YouTube because I watch YouTube a lot. Um... Yeah. So anyway, uh, a different discussion topic, which oh, silence. Okay, nothing. Which is actually the one I wanted to try today. Uh, so I had thoughts. I had a thought because I am apparently capable of one. Uh, so I had a thought, and it was like, maybe doing Marvel is a bit too polarizing. If only because a lot of people don't watch it, and those who do love, they don't come to Pokemon. Uh, you know, shiny hunting streams to talk about Marvel. Shocker. Uh. Okay, I found them already. Uh, so I was thinking instead just doing more like neutral discussion topics. So, uh, you know, last time we had chocolate, which obviously milk chocolate is superior. Duh. <laughs> no. But this one is actually something I talked about today in school. Because... Moment of silence. Nothing. Uh, because uh, I'm on... Hmm. I'm like uh, in student union, right? And uh, the position I do is like um, with I help uh, ha ha help out with education issues. So, oh, I took a screenshot. God, I'll need to delete all the screenshots I accidentally take with this. Uh, nothing. Uh, yeah. So uh, I just help with that. Whenever the hair on my beard moves, like, how was it? Like this? Th I just quickly look over and I'm like, why is there a fly on my monitor? And then I realize, oh, it's just the hair, but there sh it's it's weird to have movement. I'm just so somehow not used to it. Uh, okay, which direction do I go? This direction. Um, yeah, so it's a discussion we had today because we have meetings every Tuesday during lunch. So I had a lunch meeting. They're not bad. You're allowed to eat your lunch. So, you know, yay. Uh, better than the other meetings. I've, like every other meeting I go to is after five. Uh, so, I'm gonna silence. so like you don't bring your dinner there because y you just want to go home at that point. Uh, no, so... We had like a few topics, but the big one that we spent most of the time on, like it was a very lighthearted conversation, but still, um, it was on chat GDP and whether it should be used in school or allowed to be used or like how it should be handled in schools or at least in our school. Uh, did I miss out this? Like, did I think I saw the carnivines and I didn't? Huh. 
And this is how you don't get through all the, the uh, outbreaks. You just... You're just blind. See? I found them. And okay, it wasn't the carnivines, it was... Licky Tongues? Licky Licky's one of those. Uh... Yeah, so we had a discussion on uh, chat GDP and like if it should be used, how like what should be done with it in our school at least. Uh, so like, do we ended up with a decision of like let's wait and see because apparently this has already be been a problem that like the teachers or some teachers do find work that sounds very robotic but because it was written by chat gdp and not directly plagiarized they cannot prove it was you know plagiarized or written by chat gdp uh and you know if they can't if they can't prove it they like cannot do anything about it pretty much so uh, that was like the i think that was the decision we made that we should wait on it because if you can't prove it then outright banning it or like no matter what you do with it it's like it's pointless if you just want to have it not used because if you cannot prove it's being used uh then like what can you do with it if you just tell people oh this thing is banned and they'll just some people will know <coughs> and some people will be like oh what is this and they'll google it and then they'll be just like you know shiny okay oh i cannot Okay, that makes sense that I do. Uh... Oopsie. Oh, caught it. Fine. Okay, okay, that's fine. <laughs> uh, they're not angry at me for some reason, so I can just fly away. Uh... And by fly away, I mean teleport, because <laughs> that's pretty much what this is. Uh, so I think that's where we ended up with the discussion that, like, if you tell people who don't know what it is, they're they'll, they're more likely to go to like Google it and then use it because they'll learn that it exists. And like, if you cannot prove that they're using it and you ban it, then and you cannot do anything without proof, then uh, well, too bad for you, right? So unless we can find a way to prove it. There's no point in banning it. Okay, I found the reported Pokemon. <laughs> and now I can go home with Van Sligu. I think Sligu is what it's called. Okay, so where we're... Here is Professor Laventon. While we're reporting to Professor Laventon, I will update the shiny count. If I find out where the text is, here is the text. A... Vine shiny, haha. <laughs> yeah, so uh, that was that, but I'm wondering, like, it does. Just. Eh, I didn't know where to start on this. Oh god, I clicked B again, didn't I? <laughs> like, do you guys know what Chad GDP is? And, like, thoughts, if you have any on it. Um, we had, like, a lot of them. We had um, an hour long meeting almost. But most of it, I think, was spent on the one person <laughs> from the IT section of the school explaining how AIs worked, or like how AIs like Chad GDP developed, which I found out I already kind of knew because I watched one YouTube video. I mean, I watched it like 10 different times because it's a very interesting one, but uh, you watch one YouTube video and you apparently know how the world works. Uh, so if you're wondering, it was... Uh, a video from CGP Grey on AI learning, I think it was. I haven't watched it in ages, but it was a very good video. It's only like six or seven minutes too. So, uh, nothing too, like, nothing too long. Nothing even that goes too into the depth. Like, most of his videos don't go too de into depth, but at the same time, they very well explain topics that can be very difficult. Like this one, right? AI learning. And yet it was, as I said, a very clear and, uh, like, I'd say pretty simple uh, explanatory video as well. So that was very nice. So, yeah, that's what we spent most of the meeting on. Because one girl was wondering, like, could we theoretically, if we had code for, of this AI, like the chat GDP AI from the people who invented it, 
could we in theory create a uh, lot of silence? Uh, could we in theory create like a program or a different AI that would be able to tell us like if people are taking stuff from Tad GDP? Which <laughs> is a very difficult question, but as far as I understood it, the answer was pretty much no. Because the way uh, uh, the self-learning AIs work is like, from what I get from both CGP Grace video, maybe I'm totally getting it wrong, sorry. And from what the IT guy told us, uh, the answer is pretty much no, because no one has any clue how the AI works. We just know it's doing its job and we kind of have to go with it. Uh, so yeah, so th pretty much no one has any clue how it's working, but I it's working. So yeah, I mean, in theory, I guess you could do it, but... You know, it w it would take years if nothing else, so that's fun. Uh, apparently, another thing you could do with ChatGDP is just copy paste a passage and ask it like, "Hey, did you write this?" Uh, but apparently, it has a habit of self incrimination, <laughs> like, uh, and not just for things it wrote, but apparently for things it didn't actually write either. So, and that just makes it unreliable, which means, like, you cannot, you cannot do that either. Like, if it, if it just, uh, took things that it wrote, and then it was able to say, like, the rest I wrote it, or no, I didn't, then it would be fair. But from how it was explained to us, um, it has a database, like, a very, very wide database, but a database nonetheless that it takes its, like, information from. And as long as the passage is something that, nothing, something that with its database, it could like, with the sources it has, with the database, if it could like, take the database and write this thing, the, uh, whatever it is, paragraph or whatever you are copying, then it will tell you like, maybe not 100% of the time, but it will tell you Yes, I wrote this even if it didn't. Which which is not very good because you know if that happens then you could legitimately write something with the same sources that ChatGDP has access to and y you would be incriminated for it. So we kind of don't want that. Okay, nothing. Uh I accidentally took off my um headphones, so <laughs> Now we have to do stuff this way. Uh, n now I was just holding B with one hand and an earphone to my um, headphone to my other ear, uh, to my other ear with my other hand to my ear. Uh, okay, we have bravery, and I think I have a flag there. I could do goody. S be speed, my steed. Yeah, so that's the riveting issues I spent like forty-five minutes on today. Um, I said riveting ironically, but it was actually a pretty interesting topic. Like, can it be used in schools or how it should be handled, right? Um, yeah. So, that was fun. As I said, we spent like 45 minutes on it, and when I was leaving, the vice chairman and the IT guy were pretty much making uh, Chad GDP do like various, very dumb but very fun stuff. But I had to go shopping. Oopsie. Uh, so yeah, I had to leave, sadly. Okay, I think there's only two more outbreaks on the island. I don't know what the island is called, I cannot read as you can tell. Uh, goody, now I can just fly. Yeah, and I think there's just two more outbreaks and the thing I'm seeing on the left is just the cave. Which, for some reason to me, looks like a massive mass outbreak. <laughs> Okay, uh, where are thou? Over there. Wait, that was the water one, right? And, uh, whatever. We can go. Let's go, Bravery and Sneasler. Let's go. Um. Ah! Okay. Rinthi, I cannot go here. Okay, that's why I normally go the other way. <laughs> that's why I normally go to the land path first. 
it won't allow me to go here. Uh, it should be over there, okay. Now we go down and somewhere here there should be a massive mass outbreak, or just an outbreak. Here, okay. And then we go to the others. Um, not you. Not you, Sneasler. <laughs> Wait, yes, you Sneasler. <laughs> Wait, where am I going? What is happening? I meant to go to the water. Ah. Ursula, I don't. Okay, and now straight down. Eight, nothing. So, yeah. So, as I said, that was like the stuff I had today. It was much more interesting in person, to be honest, because ARs are just absolutely fascinating. But, yeah, even if they're nowhere near like as good as the, as like sci-fi movies would have us believe. Uh, speaking of sci-fi movies, and on topic of Marvel, because, you know, I love MCU. Uh, a moment first, I'll eat, you know, I have potatoes here. I, I made potatoes today. I had relatively healthy dinner. Uh, so, hence why I'm obviously talking for- I have been talking for the past 25 minutes and not eating. <laughs> um, but I have to take a bite every once in a while so that, you know, I, I can eat. So that I don't forget my, um... I think there's a massive mass outbreak here, but I cannot be sure. Give me a moment. I need to- Wait, I have my glasses here. I can take them on for- put them on for stuff I'm not sure about. Ah, but there's just more cadabras, and I have like two of those. I still for I still haven't googled how evolutions work. I think it's with the link cable item. I'm not entirely certain. Yeah, evolutions trade evolutions. We could actually try it on cadabra later. Wait, I think I forgot to move Vulpix again. Wait, you're here. Why am I moving away from you? Um, my Pokemon. Yeah, I think I forgot to move Vulpix again. I always do this. Okay, first I'll switch you two, and you go into this other box of shinies. Um. Okay, where is the Licky Licky or Licky Tongue outbreak? I genuinely have no clue what the name of this Pokemon is. Uh. I think it says Licky Licky, but I don't know because again, I don't see things. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, um. On the topic of uh, AIs and, uh, you know, Marvel. Uh, so, um, when we were watching the... We're still watching MC with my sister. As I said, we still have Wakanda forever. And uh, we haven't watched some of the Phase 1 and Phase 2 things. I think none of these are shiny. Nope. Yeah, so we haven't watched some of those things because my sister was like, Okay, give me only the things we need to know so that we can watch Infinity War and Endgame. So I was like... Okay, so we skipped like not that many but a few movies, uh, one of which being Iron Man 3, which I have actually never watched, which is odd given that I absolutely love Iron Man. Anyway, uh, so I, w I, 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 I was kind of like, hey, bestie, uh, would you be willing to rewatch every single Iron Man movie with me? I swear there's only three. Uh, so she was like, okay, I think I told her like, uh, I think she told me no to this, but when I told her, hey, would you watch at least Iron Man 3 with me because we haven't watched it, uh, she said like, I'll think about it. So that's not a no. That's not a no and that's enough for me. So yeah, uh, also I thought about this because AI and it, it, it's just Jarvis for me, okay? I'm a nerd. <laughs> but no, even real life AIs, like they're nowhere on that level, but they are very fascinating. So still a very good topic for discussion, I feel like. Uh, okay, we have Hunters next, right? If I remember correctly. Um, okay, Hunters. Nope, nothing. Oh, wait, I need to... Yep, I need to fly away. Fly, my steed, fly! Fly far away. What song is that from? Um, I'm trying to- I have a song in my head right now and I cannot sing the words otherwise I will be demonetized. Give me a moment, I will sing it in my head and try to think of what in the world it is. Oh, 
Okay, this is very annoying. It's stuck. It's now stuck in my head, but I cannot think what it's called. Uh, it's a, it's a Japanese one, certainly, because like, uh, it's I can't understand the words. Uh, not understand. Okay, I only listen to Japanese stuff first and foremost. Uh, it's like an important thing to mention. So it's Japanese, certainly. I just cannot remember for life of me what song it is. And it's driving me nuts right now. But let's stop talking about that. Because let's sprint this. Because I cannot even, you know, sing this song. Because demonetization and all that. That would be fun. <laughs> or like, very not fun. Why am I even concerned about that? Because, I mean, less demonetization and more copyright for me. Because I don't make money. <laughs> uh, be it on Twitch or YouTube. Uh, hmm. Okay, I was... I was a bit off but not that much I feel like so yeah more like copyright because that's that's always an issue especially with music uh, another fun issue <laughs> on top of that I mean it might be a fun issue if you own the stuff you're sued people over but I don't own anything so <laughs> let's let's maybe not get sued for copyright that would be very not nice It'd be very bad um, okay, none of you are shiny either. Uh, I love how it was just like, let's go straight ahead and sooner or later we'll see the flag. And I was still somehow going in the wrong direction. Uh, on top of the hill? Uh, down the hill? Okay, down the hill it was. Okay, so we'll fly to the camp and then go here, here, and we shall see. Yeah, so that might be like all I had planned for today because I don't have discussion topics. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just like, every once in a while, I'm like, okay, I should come up with a discussion topic and then I'm like, let's go back to reading the fanfiction I'm reading, or let's go back to playing Marvel Snap. Uh, I play a lot of Marvel Snap lately. It's shockingly fun. I, s I saw like a lot of ads on it, and I actually have no clue what got me to play it. O also, not spawn. It would be awesome if it was spawn, but not spawn. Um, I've seen a lot of ads, and I was like, nope. And when I was when I was looking through App Store for Marvel games, I was like, nope, because card games just didn't seem fun to me. And I don't know if I saw like a YouTube spawn YouTuber sponsor segment or something. But I, or if it was like an ad that I, that cracked me in the end, but it looked pretty fun, so I started playing it, and it is shockingly fun. I mean, I haven't managed to convince my sister yet, but I haven't managed to convince her on pretty much anything other than Marvel, and I got her there through WandaVision because she likes magic. Uh, so she, she is a tough person to force into anything, and the uh, everyone else that I know just doesn't share any of my interests, like. Okay, not any. Uh, I have some people I'm watching anime with currently, but I haven't been into anime that much recently. I read more manga, uh, but like, s more sparsely. I think I forgot to read the last uh, One Piece chapter when it came out. I'll need to remedy that. That is very important reading. Uh, so I'll need to do that. And I haven't kept up with My Hero Academia for the past at least month. I actually don't know how long. But... I think that might be like the few stuff things that I read when they update, but other than that I don't much anymore and I don't watch anime certainly anymore. <laughs> this one, okay. Uh yeah, so you know, not that many people to talk to about stuff that I'm interested in. Other than as I said my sister and she just don't care for some stuff. But I am very proud of her because when she just doesn't care and doesn't want to do stuff with me or doesn't want to watch stuff with me, she's like, no, just stop bothering me with it. No. So, I mean, she can stand her ground and again, I am very proud of that because I am someone who can be talked into pretty much anything. I mean, I assume not crime, but I no one has tried to talk me into crime yet, so I cannot know for a fact. I need to stop self-incriminating myself accidentally. I haven't done, done anything criminal ever other than stealing a balloon for like two crowns when I was five. I don't think that counts. Uh, 
plus for something like that i don't know if they would prosecute me uh, especially at that age and even if they could the statue of limitation would be out i know a shocking amount of stuff for uh, crimes that i do have not ever committed uh anyway <laughs> Yeah, I haven't committed any crimes. I I need to make that sure because again, I talk about like, you know, what if I had and if I had then I just talk in in words that make it sound like I have committed very bad crimes. I swear I haven't. Please don't apprehend me, police. That would be really bad for me. Uh, God. Okay. I think we were right around here last week when I started on this topic and we never finished it because then we caught up opics and then it started lagging. So, chocolates. Um, so, where did we get? I know I was complaining a lot about like chocolate, uh, my favorite being milk chocolate, which if I understand it correctly, legally cannot be described as chocolate or like there's a reason the word milk is there, right? Same for white chocolate. Like, those things are not legally chocolate. Uh, so, there needs to be the word milk or white in there to be like, this is not chocolate in and of itself. It's like chocolate adjacent, but there's like not enough cocoa powder or something or cocoa solids in it for it to be like chocolate itself or maybe there's too much sugar and milk um i'm not entirely certain for milk chocolate for white chocolate like chocolate like obviously there aren't enough solids because if if there was then it wouldn't be white then it would be brown or black like uh the bitter the actual black chocolate is uh pretty much or uh, again at least as far as i understand which i don't much i i, I don't really care <laughs> about this sort of stuff at least not personally, right? Because, like, it's a fascinating topic to discuss. But then on the other hand, what can legally be considered anything like chocolate or whatever greatly depends or changes based on what country you're in. Because, like, for instance, the EU has, like, a lot of laws that uh, are similar. But also, like, every country can obviously have its own laws as long as it doesn't... Uh, go like too badly against the EU ones as far as I understand it which maybe I don't because again I don't do laws I do science and even that one I do poorly <laughs> uh okay no silence nothing right uh yeah but it's it's like a very interesting topic to discuss I feel like and I just never get in to do it uh Speaking of interesting topics to discuss, uh, I'm do I'm just now starting to think about it because I I clicked stay here again, didn't I? <laughs> because my head started hurting. Uh, brain freeze. Raise of hands. Show of hands. Who has brain freeze? Uh, who or who gets brain freezes? Because I have found out. So I think I talked about this before, but I watched the um, like all the theorist channels on YouTube. Uh, one of which being obviously food theory and they had this over summer I think like an episode about brain freezes and that a shocking that like shockingly enough at least for us who get brain freezes only like a third of people get them which to me was unimaginable but on the other hand then it made even more sense how my mom can just have like a large ice cream and just chomp it down in five minutes flat and like not not necessarily bite it because then that's a different issue than brain freeze that's like how, how are your how are your teeth not hurting but nonetheless like she can just uh you know eat on a like pretty big ice cream cone in five minutes flat and for me to eat the same thing just so that i don't get brain freeze it takes me like at least 20 minutes because i i like i might be an uh did i click badly again of course I did. Uh, which direction are we going then? Over there. That makes more sense. Uh, over there. I assume. No? Okay. Where's this mess? Where's this outbreak that I am somehow missing? Like, what's happening here? 
Also, I should switch to Stanta because the thing can go faster. Like, what? What? I can zoom in. Okay, I, I kind of forget I could zoom in. Okay, so I assume I'm going to this one then. Let's go here first. Because that seems closer now. Nothing? Okay, now let's go to the second one. Which is the one I was originally going to, but I somehow managed to mess up. Okay. Uh, backwards. And there's still nothing. Like, what? Oh wait, I meant to press the jump button. Screw this one. We're going elsewhere. This is getting me nowhere. <laughs> uh, let's try this one. Maybe we'll actually get somewhere. That's Us or Saluna again. Ah! Get me Braviary and get me Braviary fast. God, the controls on this really don't play well with me. Uh... I totally forgot where I was. Uh, milk chocolate, laws, I think. Uh, like, I googled recently that for energy drinks, like not recently, maybe a month ago or so, so I don't remember it perfectly anymore, but like the laws in EU as far as I remember are that an energy drink can only have like a 32 milligrams of caffeine per 100 milliliters. So we had this discussion like that was also today. We did a lot during the education stuff. This was, I think, slightly before. Um, what is considered an energy drink? Or, like, um, because there's, like, uh, I don't know what it is, but someone talked about, like, charged whatever it is. And, like, they have apparently more caffeine than. Ah. Yeah, that's why I wanted Braviary, but I was apparently already dead. Okay, I just I just missed the <laughs> Okay, Ursula cannot go fast. That's good to know. And I think you're the outbreak. Wait. Up I, I cannot do controls apparently. <laughs> uh so that was like a an interesting discussion like if it has more caffeine but it's not labeled an energy drink like what's the deal with that which direction do i go in i can't see oh over there okay it just blended in so well with the mist and i assumed the pillars again god and this is why i should wear glasses but on the other hand my eyes hurt when i wear glasses so you know i'm, I'm willing to risk a few shinies for that sadly we have time we have time. Everything doesn't have to be done now. Uh, okay, I can go here if I fly here, right? Right. Uh, what else did I want to talk about? Great. Favorite color. Do people actually have favorite colors? Because I feel like I personally don't. Like, I have colors that I like more than others. Moment of silence. Don't come too far away. Uh, because like I have colors personally I have colors that I like more than others if I had to say like at this very moment for instance my favorite colors would be red and purple but also it changes like pretty much based on the day sometimes very neon blue is in the mix or like a contender for the favorite one or even the favorite one and in general uh, I like don't dislike any colors like there might be shades, like, I, th I think no one likes pure green, but like, there's shades I don't like, but I don't think I like, dislike any colors, and if you don't have like, a least favorite color, which I don't think I do, if, if I did, I think the combination would be between like, uh, yellow and orange, but again, the shades are important, right? For like, every color, because while like, I would say definitely that yellow and orange would be my least favorite like if it was based on the shade it might be like ranked lower or higher or again like no one likes pure green but green in of itself is 
like a nice color especially because there's so many shades of it I guess but still so I was thinking about it and I don't think I have a favorite color or again like at this very moment it will be a competition between two but like in general I don't think I would label any one color as a favorite one so I was just wondering if people like in general have favorite colors or if it's just something that you know people feel they should have for reasons I give up on you Braviary if you cannot if you cannot do a turn then you are useless I needed you to turn sharp turn sharp next time uh, over here wait which direction is that over there now you can turn huh uh yeah so like oh god why are so many uh so like do people actually have favorite colors or you know do you just feel like you should have one and even like if you have a favorite color it's more like i feel at least feel or think that like it's less favorite color and more like favorite shade of a certain color because again like let's say grass and like pure green they're both green technically speaking but they're so different that you can easily have one as your favorite and one of your least one as your least favorite but it's still green so saying that like your favorite color is green when you mean like a specific green is also very odd and just saying i don't do shade no shade uh shade names that's what i meant names so like i think magenta or whatever it is like uh, like magenta or brick or i think i ran out of names for red rose i think that's pink actually uh so like those things that's that's just red for me personally like i can different i think that might be like also a problem that like even if you can differentiate shades when you see them like it's it's just a color like okay there's fancy names for shades but also most people don't know those names because why would you it's like at least to me it feels very pointless because it, it it's a color <laughs> okay now let's let's try this tribal maker again uh Okay, this should be fine. Actually, I think I think the outbreak timer stops when I'm on the map, so I will put on my glasses and we'll go hunting for the outbreak. Eh. Oh god, the game is so sharp now. It's it's normally just a blur, but I can see things. No, it's like a lot of colorful blurs. It's not as bad as I make it out. Also, there's a reason people have glasses, okay? <laughs> Some of us just... Or, okay, maybe just me. I feel like people don't refuse to wear glasses often enough. It just makes me feel odd. Which... I feel is the point behind it. Did I, like, run into the outbreak and just not notice it? Like... Okay, the rainstorm has ended. Uh, it's odd. Uh, anyway, because like, I even googled it, right? And when you start wearing your glasses, your eyes hurt from it. Because the gla the eyes need to start adjusting to the glasses. I clicked on stay here again, damn it. So your glasses, so your eyes need to get used to the glasses so they hurt. But to me, it feels odd that people would still keep wearing them, even when it hurts. Because if something hurts, then you want to naturally stop it, especially if it's your eyes hurting. Because you kind of need your eyes to hurt and uh, to see. And if you're if they're hurting, the, well, at least I I don't know if people do it, but when my eyes hurt, I just need to keep them closed for a long time. And if I keep them closed, then I cannot use them because that's how eyes work. Ah, sorry, I had to drink. So it feels like more people should be refusing to wear their glasses because it, it just feels odd 
again, maybe that's just me. I feel like it is me because out of everyone I know who has to wear glasses, no one refuses to wear them. They, they have them on like all the time, whether it's short distance or long distance, which actually was a big problem. I think that was like the big reason why I didn't want to wear them from the beginning. Moment, I need to eat something. Like literally 10 seconds, I'll hopefully finish chewing by then. <laughs> So many outbreaks too, I am happy. So happy. Um Yeah, so that was like a big reason why I didn't want to wear my glasses initially. Even before it was like my eyes hurt. The big reason was that I had long distance glasses. Or I or glasses for long distance because I cannot see long distances. At this point even my monitor is long distance, which is why everything is blurry, but point stands. Um Okay, no shinies. Um, so, the big thing was that it just, like, even when my eyes were totally fine when I was looking at the board in school, because I had my glasses since age 15, so I, I did go to school back then as well, shockingly enough. Um, so, even then, like, I was totally fine when looking at the board, but then when I, like, tried writing stuff on my notebook, my eyes would suddenly start hurting, and it was like, the moment I looked away from the paper, it was fine, but it was like, if I wanted to use my glasses for short distances, my head would start hurting or my eyes would start hurting. So it was like, I don't need them for, uh, I don't need glasses for short distance anyway, I just need them for long distance. And if it's hurting me anyway, why would I wear them? So, I mean, it worked out so far fine, right? I can, I wear them just fine when I need to go to school, I wear them just fine when I need to drive. Which I don't do often, but I do have a driver's license, so I p I, I drove it up apparently <laughs> three years ago. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah. So like, I don't need to wear them all the time, and they were just fine. But still, like, people are very weird at Albite, which I totally get because it is very obviously an odd thing to do. Because again, I don't know anyone else who would do it. That, like, they're supposed to be wearing glasses, but they just don't. Uh, yeah, so I was just thinking because like I talk about it a lot that oh I should be wearing my glasses but I'm not haha uh, So I was thinking like is there someone else with this experience like that you need to wear glasses But you just don't unless you're in that specific situation where you need it like if you have glasses for short For like short uh, sight where you're long sighted I think so for short distances like I assume it's different because you need them like more often, I guess? I honestly don't know. I like don't want to say because I genuinely don't know. But it feels like it would be different. But at the same time, if you're like... Okay, maybe not. Uh, the thought was if you're in your car, for instance. Like, if, if you need to go... If you have a driver's license, right? And you need to drive a car. The thought I had was like... Okay, you can just... Where's the flag? Where is the flag? Over there, okay. <laughs> so the thought I had was like, uh, you could just drive without glasses for to see sure distance stuff. But then I was like, oh no, wait, you actually need to see the stuff in the car. So no, but like, I, I hope you get what I mean. It just, I don't know. It just feels very odd to have to wear glasses when I'm not like, if I need glasses to properly see at long distances, I sh I shouldn't need to wear the glasses just to s just to like just like all the time because most of the time I'm doing short distance stuff anyway nothing uh, so yeah that was like pretty much just the thought I had e ha over there you go and also I, I totally don't remember how normal vision looks like because uh, or like I guess I do because glasses right they help with that they give you pretty much normal vision um no, but the thing is, uh, despite wearing glasses since, like, uh, what, 15, I think? 
I think that's what I said, and I hope that's right. I genuinely don't remember anymore. Uh, I've had problems with my vision for like a year or two before then, but my mother and her with all her wisdom, which I would like to remind everyone, I was underage at that time, so all my medical decisions went through her. Uh, and her wisdom was like, let's not get your eyes checked out. I have a book here, which is supposed to help. Uh, one of seven. Okay, I have it wrong again. Uh, she just gave me a book which had like exercises for your eyes which is not bad but on the other hand I was like 12 or 13 or 14 okay I'm just changing the age here it was like 13 or 14 because it took like another year or two before I got my glasses which was after I was 15 because I went on a, a mandatory examination every two years with my pediatrician and she was like yep yeah, yeah this kid needs glasses because she cannot for the life of her read beyond like the third row on the, the chart thingy we have. Uh, anyway, that happened when I was like 15. So yeah, 13 or 14 or something is when I started having problems with it or at least started noticing it. Um, yeah, so she was like, instead of, you know, going to the pediatrician uh, or like trying to find an optician, or even doing a test herself to see how very bad it is because I for because like I remember this uh, for a fact that um, we had seating arrangements and I had to tell our class teacher like hey can you vote by seat because if I am anywhere further than the third row and even the third row is pushing it I cannot for the life of me see the board so he was like really nice with that he was like I cannot change uh, when I just came in and was like, hey, can you change the seating arrangement? He was like, why? Because I'm not gonna change it just because you're not sitting with your friend or something. So when I explained it to him, he was really nice about it. And like, changed the seating arrangements in like a week pretty much, which is very nice. Uh, but no, my mom was sitting on it for like two years before we went to the pediatrician and she was like, yep, this kid needs glasses. Uh, <laughs> so I didn't have no clue where that started. Um, but that's like my mom's deal with pretty much everything that if you have a problem where you need to see like an actual professional and it's not like if it's not a physical problem like uh i had a problem something that i got from my dad apparently where uh they just needed to cut a cut out or cut off a part of my nail uh, on my foot so that w we needed to go to like the surgical department in the hospital and they just you know uh, put a little anesthesia and cut off the bit of the nail and um, I was free to go pretty much. <laughs> uh, just a moment, I'll drink again. Yeah, so if it's not something like that that she can see pretty much for herself, she's like, you know what, I'll give you like an herb or something. Or you know what, here's a book to do stuff with it. And it's like, let's not go to the doctor because like, I don't know if she thinks that doctors are not real. <laughs> but... Like, both my sister and I, we haven't told her this because, like, it, it feels absolutely pointless. But both my sister and I have some issues that we both feel we need to go to, like, psychologist or psychiatrist or just a mental health professional. Uh, speaking of which, I need to set up another meeting with the school counselor about, like, my mental health. Uh, I, I've been pushing this around for over a Maybe over two months at this point. I'm not entirely certain. It's been like a very long time. Since like... Yeah, I think it was like... F first or second of February that I was there. And then I just totally forget about it. Maybe it was like... Okay, maybe not February. Maybe it was like mid-January. Mm. I actually need to set up that, that appointment really soon. <laughs> uh, if, if you would excuse me. I'll just put it in my calendar for tomorrow. Uh, email the mental health professionals. I need help. Uh, okay, like mental health counselor in our s of our school or something. Uh, email school mental health. Pretty much. At, th at this point, it's also very possible that the lady I first talked with and was like, I am very sorry, but I was moved to other stuff because colleague, whatever. It's it's entirely possible that at, that at this point she's just gonna be um, uh, free again <laughs> because I I have just been sitting on this for like a month or two. Uh, okay, let's go to the camp and I'll I'll keep talking. So, like 
we both my sister and I have various issues because like we're normal human beings we do and also our dad died when we were younger that fu that like messes with you especially when you're as young as my sister was and so apparently our mom went to like a counselor or a psychiatrist or a psychologist or something when dad died and she apparently as far as I understand it she had one meeting and it didn't help her so she was like nah this is fake and and she, and she just refused everything like my sister said uh, my sister once told her she had anxieties so our mom no kidding took her to our pediatrician and the pediatrician said no you don't and so our mom was like see which again that's my second an account for my sister but point stands it's just like first of all that's not what pediatricians do uh so like that might be the main problem and second of all she was obviously biased because she just doesn't believe in mental health for some reason which is which i find absolutely fascinating because my sister uh sorry my mother every single year goes to a fortune teller uh i might want to ask her how this year went oh this this is this is the place where I, that i just haven't figured out like last time okay oh i th there might be a cave or something here that I just haven't figured out. Or maybe I did like long ago and then I forget about it. Is there like... I th oh, I have thoughts. Okay, okay, okay. So we'll do this one later because I think... If I go... I think this is the one with the cave? No, oh wait, that's a different one. Okay, I have no clue what's going on here. <laughs> Whatever. Um. Yeah, so... Uh, God, where was I? Mother. Oh, right, fortune teller. So she legitimately goes to the fortune teller like every single year with the, I don't know, she explained it once that apparently if you go there more than once a year the fortune teller knows you and she might want to like make you happy or whatever. So she's just not going to tell you the truth about whatever that makes you happy. So if you only go there once a year it's like more reliable. I don't get it. It's, it's whatever. Uh, no, so my mother legitimately goes to one specific fortune teller who is apparently very good or trustworthy or whatever every single year. Uh, so she went there last, like, December. Not 2022 even. As far as I'm aware, the last time I talked to her was like, about it was like 21 or something. Maybe it was like early 2022. So she, she either was supposed to go there or she will go there sometime soon. Um, so... Apparently, according to her uh, fortune teller, who she absolutely believes, by the way, my mother who doesn't believe in psychology or psychiatry or at least not the mental health care, um, yeah, so she believes in that and according to her fortune teller, I was supposed to meet a man. I would like to remind everyone that uh, why I am not strictly lesbian, I am like, can th is there a thing like 99% lesbian because I genuinely find like... In my whole existence, I have found, like, two guys hot. And with the girls, it's like, ooh, pretty woman, pretty woman, all around me. All women are pretty. <laughs> okay, not all of them, but, like, you get the point. So, so, and on top of that, I am, uh, I assume, I uh, genuinely, no clue what my, sec what, like, is going on with my uh, romantic or sexual life. So, I assume I am, uh, as after extensive Google searches, by the way, I assume, um, demi-romantic and demisexual so if i do in fact meet someone i am not going to like sleep with them immediately but apparently your fortune teller told her that like this so in 2022 this spring slash summer like sometime around that which by the way is half a year just saying spring and summer that's like six months that's a long time for that to happen or early fall by the way so that's even more of the year uh she's going to meet a guy and if she's not gonna be careful she's gonna get pregnant so like first of all again for various reasons that is not something that would realistically ever happen second of all it did not happen <laughs> and third of all how can you not believe in mental health but you believe in fortune telling especially fortune telling that never works out like sh my mother takes career advice from this woman which is nice because like you have a point of view which is utterly which is someone who you don't know so it's like again that's why that's why you talk with like professionals because they, they are not your friends they are people who are like there to give you a neutral point of view and that's what this fortune teller is giving her right it's like she's like uh you're gonna quit this job which first of all you wouldn't do if you you wouldn't just 
quit a job if a fortune teller told her if you weren't already dissatisfied with the job, which my mother was, by the way. So, like, and because she had the, because the fortune teller told her, like, oh, it will just get worse for you. That's why she quit, but it's not that she was satisfied with the job already. So she was just getting a neutral point of view from someone who was not in the situation. And, like, all the uh, that's that stuff worked out for her, right? The whole uh, I think this is the outbreak, yeah. So that stuff worked for her, right? The stuff that is like you know, n not that hard to first of all find out, and second of all, if you are dissatisfied with your job, of course, you're gonna quit or at least want to quit. That is that isn't magic, no, nothing like against fortune telling, but it just. It, it just doesn't feel like, you know, at least the, the fortune telling my mom is getting is accurate because, again, with some stuff, it is with some others, like, I think nothing that my mom's fortune teller ever told her about me or my sister ended up being true, which, given that my mom has been going there for, like, a solid half a decade at this point, uh, is a lot, so that's fun. Uh, but yeah, I, I have no clue why I relate this and like her, meant her being totally against mental health. But I think it is because again, fortune telling, as far as anyone can tell, is not a science. It's like you cannot prove it exists, or like the thing is like you cannot prove it exists because you can either be truly telling, like fortune telling, telling the future, whatever. Or you could just be having very lucky guesses. Or you could just be having very bad guesses. But you have people who believe you. So they see like everything you say as truth. Again, I am still not pregnant, mother. Uh, no matter what you say. No matter what you or your fortune teller say. Uh, so it, it's that. And then when I know both my sister and I have like th things we need a mental professional to help us with. Like... My sister has very deep anxiety issues. I have very bad anger issues. Both of us have at least some level of attention disorder. We figured out together over summer that it is that I uh, either have borderline personality issue, which I hope I'm saying it correctly, which is something like sociopathy or um, psychopathy, like to a degree at least. So I either have that or I have autism, uh, which... They're, they're also very different, by the way. And neither of us are mental health professionals. My sister is 16. Uh, I, I am studying, bi studying biology, uh, natural sciences. I don't do mental health either. But, like, I have... In th we figured out, at least in theory, that I have something like that, which uh, we figured out mainly because I just don't understand emotions of, like, myself and, God forbid, other people. So, I if I want to, like, to be able to more clearly... Uh, like it work with other people understand other people and their emotions and again my emotions and like build any deeper connections with people because I have friends but like I don't have what I would believe to be very good friends or at least we don't know each other very well because I for some reason I like keep everyone at arm's distance and I feel at least partially it could be because I just don't understand human emotions most of the time. <laughs> so there's at least that issue. Okay. So there's at least that issue. And yet my mother is absolutely like, oh no, I went to a psychologist once and it didn't immediately help me. So they're all liars. Okay, could it be inside the solution for instance? So... That, that's that's very fun especially from a woman who to this day uh, is like oh your dad died because he didn't believe it, he didn't try enough he didn't try long enough uh, to like deal with his borderline unhealable disease uh, sometimes I hate my mother uh, like she's a very hard working person and she tries very hard but at the same time she is an absolute hypocrite and also, uh, to, to at least a certain degree, she's bipolar. Because you cannot just go from yelling at someone to being like smiles and rainbows and sunshines in like 0. 0.2 seconds without having something wrong with you. <laughs> that, that's just not how humans work. 
which just which just means that one of my other issues that I'm dealing with is that if there's sudden fluctuations of emotions, I have absolutely no clue what in the world is happening. It makes me like in a w in the way that my sister has anxieties. Uh, if people change like their emotions very drastically, which is something my mother does pretty much all the time. I just have no clue how to deal with it, which I think is another reason my sister and I were like, yeah, you have problems with emotions. Uh, yeah. You know, maybe I maybe I would be talking about this nonsense less if I actually talked with a school cons consultant or whatever the whatever they're supposed to be. Uh, okay, where do I go with this? Because I... S and it's not like I'm wrong. Oh, okay, I'm very wrong. Uh, okay, okay. This is exactly. Huh. The rainstorm is about to clear up. Cool, but I need to get to. Over there, okay. And there's nothing here. There's like one combi. Hello, combi. So, like, uh, is there like a cavern? cavern in here that I'm just not getting to because I don't remember this map anymore like what's happening here <laughs> is there like a cave entrance somewhere like what ah you know what Sneasler will yeah sure climb I don't think we're making this any worse Oh, I was like, wait, are those rocks falling because I'm climbing on them? And no, it was just that bright horn or whatever the thing is. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm getting this. I think there's like something in here and, and I'm just not getting it. So, let's go home. <laughs> I think the rain has cleared up. It did, just now. Nice. Uh, yeah, so I need to talk with someone because I have issues. And hopefully they'll help me with my issues. Or like, at least tell me, no, you don't have this. So that I can stop thinking about it. Uh, yeah, that would be nice. I did continue my excursion again, didn't I? Yeah. <sighs> also, I feel at this point, I don't know, maybe just to f mess with my mom, I will, I, if, if I ever end up being pregnant from a one night stand, I will just tell everyone about her. Uh, also, she doesn't believe in abortions. The only good thing that I can think about my mother and sexuality or anything to do with like the reproduction system is that uh, we talked about this once that she was like yeah I can ad I am against her like she's in her words this is very complicated to explain at least for me like not against registered partnerships but against like gay marriages because she believes it's like pretty much the same thing just plus a label which she herself has in the past stated it is not so let's skip that and even if it was just label that's also something that very much matters but let's skip that but at, like at the very least she was willing to admit in this one regard that she is old-fashioned uh so i mean that's something uh so she was willing to admit that she's old-fashioned and that's like her opinions might not be the best, especially nowadays. And yet. Uh, I mean, at, at, at least when I am inevitably not going to have a wedding or like... I do plan to get married. Which, again, is not helped by the fact I have never been in a relationship or dated anyone. <sighs> if only. Uh, anyway. Uh, I am planning to like hopefully get married at some point in the future. Um... Which, like, I don't want a big wedding because I realized that while planning, and that sounds very fun, I don't want people on my wedding. So, uh, current plan is we will have, like, the this required number of witnesses, which is, I think, two or something. One of whom has to be my sister because I, like, we talked about weddings of handedly, like, I don't know why, but we talked about them quite extensively, like, once or twice in the past. And we were like, yeah, we're each other's bride bridesmaid. Wait, bri bridesmaids, I think it's called. Like, the main the main girl there. Uh, anyway. <laughs> uh, so now that I decided, like, I would want just a small marriage, wedding, whatever. My sister has to be there because I already promised her. <laughs> so, I mean, at least, you know, with less people, you have less to coordinate. So that's nice. 
uh, yeah. I have absolutely no clue why I'm talking about this stuff on the live stream. But it's it's fun or like it, it there's like a logical conclu there's like logical steps to it in my brain, which means there's no logical steps whatsoever because my brain's insane. <laughs> uh come on, come on. Yeah. So there's that. But also this this felt extremely weird to me. But no, like, this was like years ago now, but I saw, uh, like, what was it, a video once that, uh, I don't exactly remember what it was about, but one of the points was that, like, you should ideally get married, like, if you have been dating or known someone for, uh, like, two to four years minimum, because, like, only after, maybe it wasn't that, but only, like, I think the point of it was that only after knowing them for, like, two to four years, you properly know someone and so when I told my mom this because when I learned it at that time or at least uh, read it heard it whatever it felt like very interesting and just like super fascinating that like oh it makes sense because like it takes like literal ages to properly get to meet anyone new and at the point where like you are willing to pretty much spend the rest of your life or I mean unless you're planning to get divorced uh, <laughs> like a very long time even if you do get divorced um, or if they die. Anyway. Uh, like, if you're planning to spend, like, a very long amount of time with someone, you should know them properly. So she said about that, like, oh, but after four years, you'll, you'll just be, like, uh, hating each other because, like, you've been together for too long. So at that point, I was like, but, like, if four years is too long for you, or, like, y you're just hating each other at that point, then, at that point, then, like... Yeah, you don't want you don't marry that person because you really like if you marry someone, I assume at least you're gonna be with them for longer than four years. And like if, if you're not then I guess that's good for you, but if 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 you're planning to stick with that person for you know, I think the wedding goals are like till death do us apart or something, but like I, I assume it's more than four years. Uh then like you cannot be absolutely hating them after four years, right? Okay. I think it's this thing. Yeah, it's done. Uh, so, like, you cannot be absolutely dating them after four years. But apparently, in our culture, like, the reason my mom and dad married is because they were both in their late 20s. And they have been dating for two years. So, first of all, they were kind of getting desperate because, especially my mom, because, you know, biological clock and all that. She wanted kids. Uh... But apparently, in my culture, if you have been dating for more than two years, then it's, like, super odd because, like, you're supposed to get married, like, when you have known each other for maximum of two years. Because I guess everyone thinks that by if you know each other longer, you'll just hate each other. And no one has realized, like, hey, if you hate each other after more than two years, then maybe don't get married. I honestly have no clue. Uh, but... As far as I understand, that was it, because, like, they they were together for a few years at that point, and my mom was like, well, we were together for almost two years at that point, and I didn't want it to be like, you're ge we're getting married because we're getting old or something, which, first of all, that was the reason you have admitted it. Uh, second of all, like, again, like, like... Do people in my country, like in my culture, whatever, think that if you know each other for more than like four years and you hate each other, it's it's like yes to marriage? Like to me it would be like, okay, we don't get along. Let's break up. Let's date other people. Like, I get you already put a lot of time and effort into it, but on this at the same time, like marriage is just putting more time and more effort into it and if you hate each other then what's the point of it? Like, yeah. It, plus, if you want kids, at least nowadays, there's more options than just biological kids. And, e like, even disregarding that, you don't have to be married to have biological kids. Yeah, like, yes, it is easier with two parents, but point stands. You don't have to get married. Huh. <sighs> God, I really need someone to talk about, uh, like, I don't know. I, I Psychologists are just people you can just randomly talk uh, to about random stuff, right? Because... 
maybe if if I did that, I will be talking about my parents' almost uh, divorce less on this channel. <laughs> or in these videos. This is, might be like the first time I'm mentioning it, but you know, I, I just felt like it. And also I didn't have people to talk to here, so I need topics to talk about. And this is the only thing my brain can conjure, apparently. <laughs> My controller fell, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so... Let's go here. Hmm. Okay, I can do these three first because they're like in a cluster of these four. Okay, this, this is where I am. Okay, so I'll do these five first because they're in a cluster. Then I can go back here and... Shoop. It's like this. That should work. Oh god, uh... Okay, let's go. Okay, what else can I talk about? Uh... How do you find someone today? Because... I have been thinking about it. To be fair, I haven't actually done anything about it. I have been thinking that I would want to try dating someone. Again. I haven't done anything about it because, again, I, no, I tried dating apps, dating sites once or twice, but the problem is they want pictures from you and I'm really like, I always feel like my pictures are so ugly and I just don't know what to do with them. Not this. Uh, so again, I just feel like all my pictures are so ugly and I just don't want to share them and like, no, no one's gonna be like, oh, I want to date this blank profile. <laughs> so, that that hasn't really worked out well for me until now. Uh, and like, what are other ways are there to like find someone to date? Because I know multiple people who are dating, and they're all just like, well, it happened, and I'm like, thanks for nothing. And that does in fact include my sister. She has dated at least two different people by this point, and one of them. They uh, went together to school, and this I, I have no clue, but apparently it just happened. I like no clue. And the second person they met in like a gaming lobby or a gaming channel or a Discord or something, and again, it, it apparently just happened. Which, like, okay, that's nice for you, but like, it absolutely hel it helps me with absolutely nothing. And I get that, like, obviously, unless you go like outright on a blind date or like sign up for a dating app most like it is gonna just happen because that's how human interactions work like you don't meet a person and immediately are like oh i want to date them but you know I, I would like to know how that how the process works more because i i don't know maybe my brain thinks that if i have enough data i can emulate it and it will work out somehow <laughs> who knows oh the music is nicer Yeah, so this, that 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 is that. Uh, I either need to have more people who I like, can come up with topics in here, or I need to start making like one-hour streams because I'm absolutely running out of discussion topics, and the to discussion topics I have aren't good. Let's put it that way. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, I know what I can talk about. Just. First of all, moment of silence, let's hear if they're shinies. Nope. So, um, I went shopping over the weekend, shockingly enough. Uh, I need food. So, uh, I bought some... I'm living, like, in a different country, right? Uh, so I bought some gifts for my mom and sister for, like, uh, Christmas and birthday. I have two presents for my mom, so Christmas, birthday, both should work. Um, I have some for my sister for her birthday. I am not saying it here because um, my sister might be watching this, who knows. Uh, I'm totally fine with saying stuff about my mom here, she doesn't speak English. And also she doesn't know this is a thing, which is why I won't be streaming over summer. Anyway, um, yeah, my sister might be here listening, so we shall not say what her gift is, but I have a something for her, and I'm sure she'll like it. Insert evil laughter. Uh, I already told her about that, like, not what it is, but insert evil laughter. So, <laughs> I'm sure she'll be excited. Ha ha ha. Uh, yeah, there's that. Uh, I need to get some stuff for my grandma as well, actually. 
so I might need to go to the dollar store again sometime during this during the school year. But that should work out fine. Uh, yes, I went to the dollar store, and the uh, store that sells games is right next to it. So I used the gift card I got for the uh, work fair, uh, and for the not being actually able to attend work fair, which now I am sorely regretting because you know I I have absolutely no clue how in the world to structure a CV, and they had a booth for that. So I'll just occupy that booth next year. <laughs> I hope they take it. They have it there next year again. Um, yeah. Uh -huh. Because this, statistically speaking, I am not gonna end up making money from this. This is more for fun than anything else. So, uh, you know, I need to find an actual job sometime in the future. <laughs> uh, no Chinese, okay. So yeah, I need to actually get an actual job sometime in the future. So I need to know how to write my stupid CV. Uh, and hopefully not fail this school year, but like that's secondary. Uh, anyway. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's what I want to talk about. Oh yeah, the... Right, I got the gift card from the fair for not being able to attend the fair. But instead of working on it and during and before. Uh, it was just enough money that I was able to buy a uh, Switch Sports. So, I mean, I did work more than one day. It wasn't just during the work fair. It was like a few weeks before as well. But, I mean, I got some free food. I thought that was gonna be all because I wasn't officially signed up on anything. I w my friend was just like, we need more people for this. And I was like, sure, why not? So... I genuinely did not expect anything from this, but they give us gift cards, so I was like, give it to me to the uh, electro store because I didn't tell anyone other than my sister, but as I said, they sell they sell video games there, so I just bought um, Switch Sports because, I don't know, I saw it and I need actual exercise. So I, now I need to figure out how to use it and yeah, that should be fun, hopefully. nothing yeah so i have that now uh i bought it over the weekend while i was you know there and uh game store uh no dollar store that's what i meant so my sister dearest if you are listening to this i have a beautiful present for you <laughs> uh and then the weird you know finger thing where you put it in the like bridge construction that mr burns from simpsons does you know that and evil after, you know, to complete my villainous arc. Uh, I actually need to stop for a bit because for the shinies I need to have my headphones on and they're kind of squashing my ears. And my ears hurt from that? Or like earlobes? Not earlobes, like my whole ears actually. This might be just because I'm not used to having my ears, uh, headphones on so much. Because they have like the round, what's it called? I, d I don't know connector names, right? But they have like the round one that you can put into the, you know, into your computer where it says like, or has the symbol for uh, headphones and stuff. Uh, and like, that's fine. But the problem is that I have an iPhone, so I cannot use that. Uh, so I just don't wear headphones almost any time. I have earphones that are failing me because uh, I, it might be because I've had them for about as long as I have my, I had my phone. And my phone is also failing me because the battery is dying. Uh, I mean, it's failing me for multiple reasons, but the battery isn't my fault. Everything else is. Let's just say that even immortal phones, if you drop them enough times, which by which I mean, I assume at this point more than a hundred, are, are going to break. I mean, it's functioning just fine. Except I have the... I don't know if you know about it, but like there's this thing that can happen to your phone where it has a neon green line on the screen. Uh, through the screen so that's fun <laughs> so that's happening to my phone right now uh, and also this has been happening for a longer time but um, there's also uh, what is it called uh, I have no clue what it's called oh right um, that's what that's what it is I, I just forgot words okay uh, when you open Google Maps um, it just like the moment I open it it's fine but like anytime after like, if I've been using it for two minutes, let's say, 
just the position that I am in is not the same as the phone is showing me I'm in. It like can legitimately be like a solid hundred meters away, which is very not ideal. So I use it like pretty much approximately, or if I really need my exact location, I just open and close it as fa as like often as need be, and as often as I can. Uh -huh. So yeah, that that is what I managed to do with my phone. But the battery. So I opened it today. I haven't like I didn't charge it in the morning, but it had a solid like it had a solid like like 70 percent when i was leaving the house by the time i got to school it had like 66 which fine happens even if i haven't used it but like it's cold so it happens then i put it into battery saving mode and i opened like one tab on the internet and when i next checked it was like 56 percent so this has been happening quite a bit with my phone lately that just like the percentages go down very rapidly and not consistently at all so yeah i might need a new phone sometime soon which fun i am poor <laughs> i don't have money so i need to figure that out uh oh we have one relative that's like she has shockingly a high amount of money presumably because she never spends it presumably because she never does anything other than go to doctors anyway um she like that usually doesn't give us a lot of money but last year she gave us a lot of money like me my sister and my mother so hopefully this time she will give me enough so that i can do with the savings i have at home buy a new phone so hopefully fingers crossed inflation and all that it's very bad um so we'll see i'm sorry i'm chewing again i should i should like have a big sign somewhere i should like just make a writing in giant red letters or something that just i can just flash on the screen and be like i am currently chewing don't run away i swear i'm still here or something uh, because you know th 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 that might actually work out this time i was drinking i should have a sign for that as well because like there's no one here right i assume but but what if people actually come and what if they come in the like three seconds that i am chewing or like i think it's more than three seconds but point stands what if they come when i'm chewing and then they hear nothing and there's nothing happening and they're like oh well th th i guess they're afk or whatever and like i won't even see that someone flashed by because i'm not looking at the count of people i'm just looking at the screen and eating and talking not in this order uh all simultaneously obviously except for the talking and eating those two are just like apparently i cannot do them at the same time which is good because that's nasty but anyway uh yeah so maybe maybe i'll figure that out for like not next time but next week uh speaking of next week uh i think i said this i don't know the nuzlocke for this week is cancelled i have a presentation due friday i have no thursday midnight it's happening on friday but it's due thursday midnight uh, so I haven't even started, because obviously. So, I don't know if I'll have it finished tomorrow during the day or not. But I will feel absolutely exhausted by Thursday, if nothing else. Uh, because I'll be streaming two days and then presumably not sleeping to do the presentation. Uh, and even if I'm not, I just wanted to take like the extra time just to make sure I can have the presentation done on time. Because if, if I don't, then I am out automatically failing it. And I don't want that to happen. <laughs> so, yeah. I will. I decided to skip the Thursday stream, which would have been Nuzlocke. But, reasons. I think I already reasoned out why that's not happening. Uh, also, because I forgot to grind over the weekend. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. So, that one's been cancelled this week uh next week we'll see because i will be doing at least one shiny hunt next week uh maybe more that is to be seen uh based on how it based on how i feel i guess um and i might either continue the brilliant diamond nuzlocke i think i'll continue it just so that um moment Okay, I think I'll continue it just because uh, if I start, like, uh, first of all, I need to get my hands on, like, sun and moon or something. Uh, but, like, assuming I, um, God, I, I'm losing my words. Uh, like, 
even if I get my hands on it for next week, which I don't know. Uh, no shinies. Which, as I said, I don't know. Um, it is... Maybe it won't be the closest. Um, it is like, I feel better, at least for me, to first finish the Nuzla. Because otherwise, I will just forget I'm doing it. I will just be oh, like, oh yeah, I, I'm sure I wiped to someone. Just the way I don't remember how many deaths we are. I think we're on 12, but I cannot say it for sure. Because I don't know if I counted everyone or if I just forgot someone. Um, yeah. So, I feel it's just better to finish the Nuzlocke first. Whether it's somehow winning it, who knows how. Or like, wiping out to, I assume, the next gym leader. I think he has at least one Pokemon with sturdy. And I don't have fire types, and he just- No wait, I have one fire type, and he's a steel type gym leader. Okay, so that should hopefully work. Anyway, wrong game. Uh, like, whether we win or not, not relevant anymore. But I just don't want to forget about it, and then just never finish the Nuzlocke. Like, even if I wipe out, even if uh, wipe out, white out, I just want to finish it. Oopsie. I just want to finish it if only for my sake and for like the sake of conclusivity of whatever was happening. Uh, yeah. But afterwards, I'll like I'll try playthroughs of some of various Pokemon games because again, I have never played like uh, Gen one through seven, so it would be uh, like at least for me it would be very fun to like do a blind playthrough hopefully for you as well if if you end up watching it uh i'll still be doing shiny hunts because i as you can see i'm nowhere near done shiny antic in legends arceus and by then pokemon home will hopefully be compatible with scarlet and violet so i'll be able to uh, shiny hunt in those games as well <laughs> ah so many pokemon so little time it's fine they're just releasing dlc this year so they won't release the next game until next year at least, and even then it will be like again late next year, presumably. presumably. Uh, so we have time. We have like two years. That should theoretically be enough. Also, like two years minus like four months, because for like two months ish, I will be not in this country. So I will not be able to stream because I think I already explained my mother. Oh no, wait, those are the normal scissors, they're always there. Oh, I had the location mark. I just assumed it was there. <laughs> that would break. Okay, wrong, wrong, wrong. <laughs> ah. Yeah, so, again, my mom doesn't know this This is happening at all. She doesn't know any of this is happening. I don't think she'd be against, like, me trying to stream or do YouTube. I think she would be against me buying the stuff I need for it. And trust me, if... Like, if you wanna stream from, s like, a gameplay from Switch, as I currently am doing, or, like, any other, uh, external, what's it called, uh, external gaming system, you need actual equipment. And also, it never hurts to have a good microphone, not just the microphone your computer has. So, and that's also very expensive. And that's just, like, the bare bones cost, right? Never mind the games, my... Never mind, like, the fact that my mom also doesn't know that I, in fact, have a Nintendo Switch. Uh, we're keeping that hush-hush from her. She never needs to find out. So, yeah, never mind that. Um, so, I'll be on hiatus over summer. I think I already said that, and I'll say it again when we actually get to summer. Uh, but my school year ends, like early june like on the fourth or fifth or something so i will be leaving pretty much around that time and i won't be back until like mid-august <laughs> or maybe early august i don't know sometime in august so solid two months mm. reminds me i need to google something to do over summer with my sister again we usually go to like an anime convention uh, with my sister over summer, so I need to google like when that happens this summer and when they're releasing the tickets so we can buy them Because obviously if you buy them ahead of time, they're cheaper than if you buy them on the at the location So yeah 
We need to do that. Or I need to do that. I'm usually the one who keeps an eye on it. So that will be nice. That will be fine. Mm. I don't think I'll keep this up for more than two hours. By which I mean like total run time. <sighs> oh well. Okay. What I can do here. I can just fly here and then I can put in the pen or whatever. So I don't think I'll go on for more than two days today. By which as I said I mean like two days total. Um... So another like 20 I think it is at this point. We'll see. Uh, yeah, I think... Give me a moment. Uh, I'll put the pin there and then I can check how long I've been streaming here. I think it's been like hour 30 something. Hour 40, cool. So I think I said uh, like 20 minutes and then I said hour 30, which does 30 and 20 is not 60. I know, but eh. Anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, so... Another like 20 ish minutes, we'll see where I finish, like how much I can get by then. So far, we have one shiny. I just find it really fascinating that, like, you can have uh, like six shinies in two hours, or you can have like at this point, it's like one shiny in two hours, right? It hasn't been two hours yet, but point stands. So, just like very fascinating how different it can be based on uh, just like. This is pretty much just RNG, right? At this point. So it can be just like very interesting how much that can affect games. And obviously it can, but you know. It's fun to watch. An experience. And I think actually streaming makes this much more manageable. Because obviously if you're just sitting somewhere for like... Trying to finish a shiny Pokédex. Like if, if you're just doing it at, on your own at home then like obviously you don't want to kill four hours finding one shiny right but on the other hand spending like four hours on stream finding shinies especially if there's like uh, topics to discuss which there's not but we'll get there eventually fingers crossed i will f i will finally manage to have like i sometimes have viewers people pop in and then pop out so i will have one person eventually sooner or later i'll have one person at least who sticks by and talks like i'm not against just silently watching i like when i watch twitch which isn't often but when i do it i don't like talk much either i just send ra various comments like various random comments i watch duck duck i am part of the anarchy okay so i just send like random stuff like rigged because it's fun <laughs> uh not stuff to have like actual conversations obviously but like when you're streaming you want to have stuff to talk about and if you're doing like a more plot driven game i guess you can talk more about that game but when you're doing something like this or if you're me and even through plot driven games you're like okay it's been five minutes since we talked last time i hate you and just mashes ao and everything uh you do not get to, you do not get to have good discussions from the plot of anything uh because i don't know games and plot just don't go together in my brain i have no clue why uh, I think this is lag again getting to us, god damn it. No, it looks fine. I don't know. With Braviary for a bit it felt like there was lag, but now it's fine again. We'll see. We shall see. Yeah, so uh, I I will eventually have one person here who will talk to me, god damn it. Uh as I said again, it's like not bad to just sit in chat and like enjoy stuff that's happening. And again, I assume most people, I assume there's like maybe one person watching this if I'm lucky. Uh, in which case, hello and thank you. Um, but anyway, uh, you know, it's it's nice to have someone to talk on this. And I also genuinely want to see like. I think I did this like two or three weeks ago, but I changed the whole setup so that you can see me in one corner or on one side. You can see like what's happening down. You can see hopefully the chat above me. But that's like the only part of this I haven't managed to test out yet. If the chat is working, like I tried sending in some uh, 
try out messages myself like you know mic check mic test mic test or whatever or testing stuff like that uh, but since no one else has written into the chat since I have absolutely no clue if it's gonna work on stream or not uh, okay I think one more brave here and then we should be fine <laughs> Oh come on! I wanted to breathe here. What what is things are doing there? Uh, okay. Okay, I think this one would be the easiest to get if I fly here, right? Yeah, I think so. Um, yeah. So I I will eventually get someone who talks. I swear it. Uh. And I just gen I just really want someone to stick around because I'm, I'm just wondering like as I said sometimes people show up sometimes people even for to me inexplicable reasons watch my VODs both on Twitch and later YouTube when I upload them like obviously not all of them and obviously they don't stick around because especially with the VODs because like they're not always that fun uh, but like are like I think the best part about live streaming is that, you know, it's live and all that. Um, which obviously vaults aren't. Uh, so I just want more feedback, I feel like, to know like, maybe why people don't stick around. Because obviously vaults are obvious, right? But streaming, I feel like, I want to know what I'm doing right and what I'm doing wrong. like when I'm actually streaming. I think part of it is just my stream of thought that's happening out loud. But again, I swear that's at least partially because uh, I, I need I usually need a second person at least to talk to so that my stream of thoughts doesn't get to me too much. I think I think I just uh, ripped out one hair. Like it's just one but I think I just heard it. Anyway. Uh, and I just hit the mic. I'm very sorry. Uh, yeah. So I just want someone to stick around and, like enough to I don't know. Oh, I think I forgot to do that since last time. I think I talked about it last time or just sometime last week that I found an extension on Twitch that allows for like comments on the content or whatever. Uh, so I think I forgot about that. Mm. Almost. Yeah. Uh, so I think I forgot about that. Uh, okay. Now Stanford can do it. Um, <coughs> but it, it, again, it would be like a good way to get feedback from people. Like, what am I doing wrong other than obvious streams of thought that I need to somehow un unlearn? <laughs> Like, you know, what stuff would you want to talk about? Or like, is is it the game that is like boring? Because I I get like a you know person who has that's Ursula again. I get a person who has absolutely no clue what they're doing, like trying to nuzlocke or shiny hunt. Might not be fun. On the other hand, I feel like it could be very fun because it's like the whole genre of uh, you know people who have no clue what they're doing trying stuff. Wait, that's just the try guys, damn it. Uh, anyway, uh, no, I don't know, it's just like, it's fun to me. So, and I want like people who watch this, if they watch it to have fun as well. So, you know, it's good to have feedback if, if for that if nothing else, just so that I know like th what people enjoy. Or if it's just my tiles that are odd. Oh no wait, I was like, wait, I see green and I didn't see green on the rest of them and then I'm like, nope, there's just a Curlia. Now, let's run away because Curlias are scary. They're attack type. No? Huh. <laughs> oh, wait, what? I got stuck so badly I couldn't even fly away. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> huh. Huh. 
It could also like part of the problem could also be just that I am using an avatar like a viewer, you know, the stinky. Hello. Um and like I don't know, a person thought that like this is for me more because I like the reason I'm using it is because I just don't want to show my face. I get very embarrassed in public very easily. And this just kind of helps. First of all, second of all, it also helps with anonymity, right? But it's it's mainly because I get very embarrassed and if my actual face isn't, you know, here, it's it's just easier for me. Uh, but it might be just because, I don't know. First of all, I feel like, I feel like people imagine the, like, avatars that you would use to be more like, I don't know, there should be more about them, like a cat or a vampire or something, that it shouldn't be just like a normal person. Uh, yeah, but this is a normal person that I'm using, or at least to a degree, right? So it just feels like it might not be meeting the expectations to a degree. Or at least the expectations that like I assume are there, I have no clue. Um, it could also be just like that a person being there is just more like, oh, there's an actual real life person here that's doing this. It could just be my voice being annoying, I have no clue. Uh, like, I have the same thing every person does, right? That if I hear my own voice, I hate it. I absolutely detest it. Because the way our ears are shaped, it makes it so that when we hear our voice, it sounds differently, uh, like, when we speak than when we hear it recorded. I think I read about it, like, this was also ages ago. I haven't looked into it much because I just didn't care. Uh... It's not something I cared about. I care mainly about biology now. This is biology, actually. Fuck. Uh, no, so I think I read about it that it's... Uh, what was it? No, I have. N I actually have no clue now that I think about it. or I can't remember, at least. But it certainly has to do with the shape of your ears. That makes it so that um, when you hear stuff that's recorded, it just sounds different than like, from your mouth because of how the skull is positioned or how it's positioned in your skull um, something like that I had again no clue honestly or not much clue at least but yeah so as I said my voice could be annoying for all I know uh, it, it certainly is to me when I hear it recorded was that a shiny sound I need to put on my glasses I was talking again I forgot to moment to silent uh, to be silent for a moment for the shinies so uh, no, those areas Azoros are aren't shiny. Bright side, now I know that it's Azora outbreak. <laughs> I had no clue before. I just I just saw white stuff and I kind of assumed it was um Rufflets or uh the uh, baby Obama snow. I don't know what it's called. Snowbird, I think. So I assumed it I assumed it was one of those. I just kind of forgot uh Zoros are a thing <laughs> somehow. <laughs> Yeah. So you know, that could be another issue with the stream. I have no clue. I have ideas, but like, no clue. So, yeah, I should look into the whole feedback feedback thing so that people can like give that more easily. We'll see. I. But as I said, most likely not this week. I don't know if I'll even have it for next week. Maybe, maybe for next week. We'll see. Because I have presentation due Friday, and then I have exams next week. Oh. I have found the Pokemon. Nice. Uh, yeah, so I have presentation due Friday or Thursday, whatever. And uh, exams next week. So, And also because of the exams, um, I also have like another five assignments due next week. <laughs> because they're due by the time the exams happen and I just uh, haven't done any of them yet. But they're a good learning experience for the exams. So at least partially it's on purpose. Uh, I think I can be the only one who justifies procrastination this way. Like, oh yeah, it's totally happening on purpose even though I know it isn't. God, I'm 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 so bad with this. Uh, by this, I mean procrastinating, or rather, not doing so. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. We're fine, Bravery. We're fine. Uh, Jenny's. Come on, give me something. 
Oh, those are purchases over there. I I just know I just noticed it was electric and that it wasn't shiny. I absolutely could not care less that it was purchases. I mean, purchases is very cute and I absolutely love it. But um, also it's like kind of useless. Like obviously not obviously, but no shinies. Okay, like a lot of people know uh like Seijun's Pachiriso from like the I don't even know what year World Championships it was how it helped win because it just fit great on the team um as far as I understand I haven't watched that match or maybe no I haven't I was like maybe kind of because I watched a video from Wolfie analyzing that match but I don't think he actually showed the whole thing I don't know mm. but like yeah to me, at least personally, Pachirisus aren't like that good, but they are very cute and also I really like the shiny. Because again, pink and white is just a really good, uh, like a really cute combination for me. So if it was like a, not a cute Pokemon, it would be like not that good of a shiny for it, at least according to me. But since it's meant to be cute, it's like top tier shiny. <laughs> Over there. Chinese? Okay, no Chinese. <laughs> of course, it's not gonna be this easy. I was about to say, come out, come out, wherever you are, Chinese. But nope, they didn't feel like it. Assholes. Apparently, if you don't swear too often, you can get away with it even on YouTube, so we're fine. Uh, on Twitch, I think, I think doubly so, I don't know, actually. Uh... But it always, always feels like YouTube is more strict than Twitch, so I was like, so I feel like if you can get away with it on YouTube, you can get away with it on Twitch. Maybe that's just like personal bias, I don't know. Okay, let's first try. I don't think the massive mass outbreak is happening in here, but I don't know. Okay, it's not. What is happening somewhere up here? Climb, fly. Ah, I know we're gliding. No, Shani's okay. Uh, I'd say next we go here and then here, and then I can fly back here. So, yeah, that should work fine. Hmm, okay. Oh, there, there's the next marker. I was just about to be like, okay, where is this thing? <laughs> Found it real fast this time around. Yeah. But I need to actually, I need to actually look on into my schedule when the exam, I have exams on Monday and Friday and then again, like five assignments due. Uh, anyway. <laughs> I need to look up when the one on Friday is happening because if it's happening in the afternoon then I'm fine if it's happening in the morning I most likely won't be streaming because if it's happening in the morning the doors close at 8 15 which means I need to be there before 8 15 and I am just terrible at going to sleep so I would need to be er uh, up earlier just to make sure I can force myself to uh, no I would need to go to sleep earlier or just like you know, not get myself hyped up this late at night. Just to make sure I actually go to sleep. Uh, one time I almost didn't go to sleep. Um, and I almost overslept for an exam. And then I uh, was, was literally in school in 10 minutes since got to school like 10 minutes after waking up. And somehow I man somehow made the exam. But like, it was utterly terrifying when I woke up at like 8.03. <laughs> Luckily, this year, um, I lived in dorms last year, but luckily this year I moved, so I live very close to the university. Otherwise, that would have been very screwed. <laughs> so yeah, I need to look that up, and if it's happening in the morning, I will not be streaming next Thursday, but if it's happening in the afternoon, I will. So, that is to be seen. I can actually look it up after we finish this massive mass outbreak, so I can tell you for a fact. But one way or another, like... 
I'll know soon. I'll look it up for myself. So if you want to know if I'll be streaming next Thursday, um, you can check. I always, uh, there's like on Twitch, there's a streaming schedule that I have. Uh, I try to have it like at least the day before for any like abrupt changes that might happen. Uh, but like I try to keep it pretty consistent and again update it as soon as I know like oh I cannot do this day or oh this thing has changed for some reason uh, like when last week I changed um, that I wasn't streaming the Nuzlocke two days in a row but I was doing Nuzlocke one day and then the shiny hunting the other day I just I think I pretty much immediately changed it just to be like in clear just to have it done as soon as possible so yeah we'll see i'll need to google uh but i think it's math exam that i have on friday which i think was the one uh as from eight which means that on monday i have it in afternoon which might actually be bad because meeting i'll, I'll need to look into a lot of stuff for next week for my schedule <laughs> Uh, I want to say the only good thing is that, uh, like, those exams will be over and then the other subjects I have to finish until the end of the year I don't have exams from, but then I, then I remembered, oh, you dumbass, you voluntarily signed up for evolution and that you have an exam from. But, like, it sounds really cool because evolution just sounds like a really cool topic, because it is, obviously, but, like, I don't know, just the name sounds just like it's just evolution nothing else and that kind of sounds really cool like somehow more so than if it had a really elaborate name wait i can just stand through this thing can't i yep no shinies wait i need to just actually put the mark here so i know where in the world i'm going and I think this is actually the last outbreak. Yeah, we've been here just over two hours, so this will be the last outbreak we do. And then it will be in these two hours we caught one shiny. <laughs> uh, I mean, it happens again. It's like RNG and that, all that. It's very finicky. Sometimes you can catch six. Sometimes you can catch one. But. Thanks for being here with me today. Uh, I am going to... I think I post like every time after these happen. So I'm just going to do it now. Which is the screenshot button. I think it's this one since I... No? I press it accidentally all the time. Which is the screenshot button? This is minus. Ah, this is the screenshot button. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, so, thanks for... Ha, huh, figured it out. Thanks for being here with me today. And, uh, as I said, for Thursday, like, this Thursday is not happening, next Thursday we'll see based on my schedule. I'll keep that updated in the Twitch schedule, and I'll also share it next week with you, I guess, just so that you're, like, more updated. Whatever. Anyway, thank you for being here with me today, and I'll see you again tomorrow with more shiny hunting. Hopefully, we'll have more success than today. So, uh, goodbye! Have a nice day! Uh, pretty much all the bye!